What is going on everybody? Sean Daniel here with Guitar Control. Today we're talking about something very important that often gets overlooked and that's warming up on a guitar and coming up with some cool warm-up exercises that aren't super boring that'll actually just make you a better player in general, improve a couple different techniques and concepts we're talking about. So make sure to click the link below. I'm gonna tab out a couple things we're gonna do here. And basically to get a good warm-up, you wanna involve all of your fingers. That's right, even your pinky. Some people will fight you on that, be like, you don't need your pinky to play guitar. Nonsense! Get your pinky in the game, super important. And basically how we're gonna start this out is we're gonna have two main exercises, and they're both gonna involve the chromatic scale. Chromatic is just a super fancy word for kind of playing one note at a time in order. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna start with your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the low E string, okay? Now, uh, the way we're gonna employ our fingers here is for every finger to have ownership of a particular fret. I like the fifth fret because it's really just kind of like in the middle of the guitar, it seems to be a space where most guitar players, regardless of the size of your hands or the length of your fingers, can somewhat easily access all four frets, all right? So pointer finger gets fifth fret, middle finger gets sixth fret, ring finger gets seventh fret, pinky gets the eighth fret, okay? So, all, all in all, it would just sound like this. But, what you're not warming up is your picking hand, too. So, this is also gonna be an exercise in alternate picking, okay? Besides just hitting all down strokes like this, I want, with your picking hand, to go down, up, down, up. Alternate picking, so, really, conceptually, very, very easy. Every time you go down, you gotta come back up. Now, generally, you'd want to do this to a metronome, but we're just going to kind of do this. We're going to freestyle this because if I try to teach, play, and talk to a camera with a metronome on, my brain just kind of breaks. <laughs> I've tried it before. Very strange phenomenon. But start super slow. Five, six, seven, eight. As slow as you have to do it to have it in time with each other. So not like, like that. Sometimes, again, if we're just getting your pinky in the game, don't worry about it, you just gotta take a little extra time with that. Now the next thing you wanna do is go down a string. So we're talking about crossing strings as well. So we have five, six, seven, eight, down a string, same exact thing, okay? Now if you've never really done alternate picking before, this might be a little bit of an issue and it might almost seem inefficient because like let's say we've got four notes and we're going down a string, right? One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. So we're going up and then, you know, down. Some people would wanna actually go, keep going down, but really challenge yourself to go down and up after every single time, okay? So, conceptually, super easy because we're just gonna do five, six, seven, eight across six different strings, all right? So let's do it all super slow together. Five, six, seven, eight, down, up, down, up, down, E string. Now, when you get here, I want you to go one fret higher with every fret and then go backwards. Same thing. Much like a lot of exercises on guitar, going backwards is almost kind of like twice as hard as going forward, but very important, okay? And then when you get here, to this, now we'll be on the sixth fret. You guessed it, go back or one fret higher. So, we're kind of making our way through the fretboard and eventually you'll be able to build up a lot of speed and do it kind of, you know, seamlessly, flawlessly, whatever. And it never really ends, you know, just until you kind of get your fingers in the game. And then once you start playing after that, you're just, just shredding like an absolute monster, right? So, this is, a, again, an excellent warm up. It doesn't sound very musical, but it gets all of your fingers in the game. And even if this is, because you know, this is a four fret reach, really, well, three frets from five to eight. Right? Even if that is kind of like a long reach for you, regardless of where you're doing it on the neck, just start reaching with your fingers and eventually the spacing of your hands, maybe if it starts out like here, your resting reach will be like here. So it's a good one to really improve your reach, okay? Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is actually talk about going, it's almost kind of like a combination of all these in one thing where we're gonna start in the same spot, but instead of staying on the same string, we're gonna use the next finger on the same fret ownership thing, five, six, seven, eight, but we're gonna go down a string, down a fret, okay? 
So you may have already guessed this, but this is gonna be kind of like a staircase type exercise. So it's five E downstroke, six A upstroke, seven D downstroke, eight G upstroke. Okay, so if we played this as a chord, it sounds kind of evil, right? So this is a great way to exercise, to warm up when people are around and be like, what is this person getting ready to play? Eh? The devil's music, right? So it's kind of a cool sound. Uh, it's, I, I don't know if it's more musical than just the chromatic scale, but I think it's a better exercise because we're actually incorporating moving strings with every single, single note, and then still using that down, up, down, up, alternate picking, and then we end on our pinky, and again, this is, this is gonna be tabbed out, so if you know going through this too fast, definitely check out the tab. Once we get to the G string, we're gonna make our way back chromatically like that first exercise, okay? To your pointer finger, so E string, down, A string, up, D string, down, up, down, up, down, okay? So that's gonna lead us to your pointer finger being on the fifth fret of the G string. And then we're gonna do the exact opposite, okay? So, another staircase looking shape. Just like that, 5G, 6D, 7A, 8E. Still keeping the alternating picking going. A really valuable exercise because alternate picking over strings, I think is something super, super important. And then once we get to here, so we'll do it from the beginning. Now we're going up. Chromatically walk all the way back to where we started, okay? So the whole thing really slow is gonna sound like this. Okay, and then you can maybe speed it up a little bit, again, with a metronome so you know that you're doing it evenly. Okay, and again, that's a really great warm up. You can do it down a string. If you wanna kind of really focus in on just this alternate picking thing, start out on the A string. Because you do have to be a little tighter and compact when you're inside the string set, instead of having the luxury of just hitting the downstroke and hitting the E string. And this is also another movable. If you look at your hand while you're doing this, you almost be amazed. It's like, oh, this claw is moving on its own. So, just a couple really quick uh, intro exercises you could do. Once you do this for a while, you'll be amazed at how much faster your picking becomes and how increased your reach is gonna become. If you really wanna start challenging yourself, do it on the first fret. Because that's where the biggest reach is because the frets are biggest up here. So, definitely check that out. Uh, just a really fun, easy thing that you can just run through a couple times every time you pick up a guitar, it'll become second nature, and then it'll be the easiest really exercise in the world for you. So uh, hopefully that helped out. Definitely let us know if you have any questions or comments in the description, uh, in the comment section below. Always love to hear feedback. And definitely make sure to click on other videos around here. Now that you're warmed up, it's time to rock it out. So learn some of these songs, learn some of these other techniques from myself, other great guitar instructors, and we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.